What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Butter's House, where we are continuing our Let's Play series of Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. This is episode three. Let's get into it. Before leaving, visit the store to make sure you've ample supplies. All right, everybody. So let's have a little bit recap. In last episode, we did some exploring of Cassardist and some simple questing in the beginning of it. So I wanted to cover real quick. I didn't go over this in the last episode before we leave Cassidus and go on to the encampment. I wanted to cover something that I felt was very important to hit, and that is the quest board. So right here is the quest board. Are your travel preparations complete? Most of the time you can find them in the inns or center of the towns. And if you hit start, you can go into your quests. I already picked some up and you can go through them this one says slay five rabbits this one's the rat catcher slay seven mice defeat 10 goblins defeat 10 bandits deliver flowers to Benita. upon a pawn so that's where we are going to head to the encampment and as we're heading to the encampment we are going to oh, always do that. Head the wrong way. As we're going to the encampment, we're going to hit some of those quests. To the encampment. This path should see us there. So I know I have to slay some rabbits. Vanquishing foes earns you experience, discipline, and more. Careful! A goblin! Where's the goblin? So these are some of the sunbrights we need. We need five of them. Jack him up real quick. We need five sunbrights, so as soon as I walked out of Casterdist, I grabbed some of the sunbright right to the left. I want to see if there's a couple of rabbits here just real quick. Clip them. There's one right there. Oh, leveled up. We're at three now, killing the rabbits. Now there's some meat and stuff like that. I don't worry about that. Oh. He's getting jacked up with some right there. Shall we lend a hand? Yeah, I know how to attack. Giving me a basic tutorial again. All right, well, that arrow wasn't doing so well, so we're going to jack these guys up pretty quick. Goblins hate fire. Quite the fighter, eh? So let's talk to him. That was far too close. I'm called Reynard, a traveling salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. 
I'll consider it a bargain. You have my thanks. Word up. That's it. Okay. Basically, you say it's saying you may see some peddlers as you travel across the road. So I'm gonna get this hustle on. Now, bottom left, that orange bar. There is no shame in fleeing. That's your adrenaline or stamina. Sorry, you need to watch out for that. That drops too low. You will not be able to move and fight. Get caught off guard with that in a battle. You're going to get messed up. We've arrived, master. Level four. Boom. Can you hear our voice? Stone, if memory serves. I know the way, Master. Follow me. All right, Rook. Following you. I believe that's a rift stone. See that light? I'm going to gather some stuff up. See if there's any money in there. No money. Whatever. Have all you need? We are an inn first and foremost, but we offer more than simple lodging. We can safeguard your belongings or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick, any you like. So first thing I'm gonna go in is manage the store items. What will it be today? And I'm gonna deposit my materials. Sun brights, I need those. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to that. You know, I don't need these. Do not. What will it be today? Have your pick, any you like. This is learning new Come skills. Up, oh, hit the wrong button. I'm gonna just talk with him again. We Sorry, guys. Got your belongings or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick, any you like. So we're gonna learn some new skills. I want to show you this. This is cool. So there's a difference between experience points and discipline points. Experience obviously brings you to higher levels for stronger HP, strength, stuff like that. Discipline points allows you to get new special attacks. I'm carrying a dagger and bows. So I want to look at these two to see what I like first. And I'm going to hold off on the dagger, but biting wind dashes past the target with blades extended, delivering slashes that can be followed with further attacks on contact. Very cool. We will get that. But I want my bow upgraded first. And then there's the triad shot. Fires three arrows in a wedged pattern. So you can have three arrows instead of one. And then there's a cloudburst volley. Sends a wall of arrows skyward to rain down. Very, very cool didn't use it much so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the triad shot right then there's core skills which is very cool because these you'll get certain rolls and double jumps this is a broad range flurry of dagger blows punctuated with a fierce kick round delay if i'm saying that right performs a switch Swift and deadly double strike forward, topped off with a whirling slash stagger skills. All right, so now I want to enable my skills. Super simple. So X on my dagger has the scarlet kiss. My bow has the threefold arrow. We're going to engage the triad shot on Y. What will it be today? Awesome. Have your pick. And you come again soon. All right, so that's it. Now in here is the Rift Stone. 
Let's examine this. Can you hear our voice? We speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. Pray, give this strange and impersonal greeting. This rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the Arisen. For they possess a will powerful enough to guide the Legion. If you would claim to be among the Arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. If you are an Arisen in proof, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The Arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self-improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Greg, show it now. So they obviously gave me a quest, and the first start is just, let's search the area. Now I want to go over to the quest board real quick, if I can. emanates from within. Yes, I can't. The beast comes! Hurry! Maybe I can hit it. Let me hit the quest board before I go out there. So, slay two seabirds. Yes. Set against the dead. Defeat 45 undead warriors. Basic training. Slay eight spiders. An eye for an eye. Defeat three cyclops. Reason why I went to the board before I went into this mission here is that cyclops. We're about to hit that cyclops up. And this is where I'm going to use my new discipline also, the triad. Jacking them up. This thing's a monster. Let's get at it. I'm going to keep my distance for a minute and see if I can clap him in the eye. Guess not. Getting at it pretty quick, though. No, they hold the advantage. Goblins heal like fire. I love range shooters. I ain't worried about all them people. Come on, turn to me. Say hello. Okay, let's get a little bit out of there. Oh, see that? Ran out of adrenaline getting clapped. Oh, come on, guys. So now I got to get out these goblins. Real quick. Okay. 
get at him real quick. Chop up his arms. There we go. Eye shot. Say goodbye. Who's this dude? Was a close great bat. Let us return to the Let's see what he dropped. Rugged Tusk. Yeah, you want that stuff because when you upgrade your weapons, those are parts of the weapons you will need. Looks like that's all I really need out of him. Let's see what's over here. Rugged Bone, absolutely. Goblin Horn, absolutely. That was a dope battle right there. I enjoyed that. We've done as asked. Let us go and give word of it. Set out from here and we'll be on the path to Grand Sorin. Nice. So we get to customize our own porn. Very cool. Uh, I, I don't remember what I named my main character. So we'll see what happens. Not really sure what to give him as a moniker. I feel like Nash. Don't know why. Easiest thing. I want this to be a warrior, so the build should be respectful to that. It's pretty obvious some of these warrior builds in the beginning. him a seasoned warrior a little bit of gray hair once again love the scars that's a brutal one and that's good enough for me Yes, continue. You will be asked a few questions. Your answers will shape your pawn's inclination. When faced with danger, which trait would you most value in your followers? An iron will, quick thinking, careful preparation, the charisma to lead others. An iron will. While in battle, which strategy would you prefer your follower 
employ. Kill all enemies, rescue comrades in danger, strike at the strongest foes. I want him to kill everybody. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the entire battle. What do you have them say? This way, master. As a ruler, which gift would please you the most? Magic potion that preserves youth, a brave and just hero to succeed you, perfect spouse. I'm gonna pick the perfect spouse because if you see on the left, those are their attributes. And that gives me guardian, which I think attacks the most. And we are going to pick a fighter. Fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men call pawns live and die by your command. That's dope cinematic. Having been recognized as the Arisen, you have been granted a loyal pawn to be your constant companion in your journey. Word up. In addition to this main pawn, you may hire up to two other pawns to support you in your adventure. Different pawns have different strengths, so use support pawns to tailor your party to fit your current needs. Okay, so now, if you examine, this brings you into the rift. The space between realms. All right, this is where you can pick other pawns. Right there is Rook, and that's one of my homies already. Then I have my main pawn, which is a fighter. So I want to speak with him for a sec. Is everything in order, Master? And I want to view his details real quick. So he's a mage. And those are his primary and secondary weapons. His defense stats. Fire boon. This is very important to me. Launches a bolt of magic that enchants an ally's weapon with fire. Ingle. Ball of fire that explodes upon contact. Anodyne. This recovers us. So, fire boon is very important to me, and anodyne is very important to me. Is so, I wanted to see what he had. If you should ever need anything else, do not hesitate to let me know. So, now I can. I want another warrior with me. Touching the stone allows you to seek pawns. Great. I'm going to summon them. So we're gonna examine and we're gonna search. I'm gonna do pawn by level because I wanna keep the game kind of fair. I think I'm a level five, so there we are. We're gonna choose a pawn and those are warriors. I'm not sure what the difference is right here. Okay, there we go. So the blue coat of arms right there is a mage. The red is a fighter. The yellow is a strider. So I'm gonna summon some warriors because I want multiple warriors with me. And we're gonna see what happens. I just summoned a lot. Okay, so let's exit the menu. Let's see where they pop up. That's a strider, I didn't summon a strider. Okay. Let's see. See what Garrett. Yes, Arisen. Kinda don't like that if look. You should ever need anything else, do not hesitate to let me know. Try to breeze through this quick for you guys. 
Yes, Arisen. It's kind of cool with the chain if on the head. If you ever need anything else, do not hesitate. This guy looks like he's seriously ready for battle. Let's take Kato. Yes, Arisen. I am honored to travel with you. Word. Then let's travel. So we're going to exit the rift. Ah, a master in his pawn, is it? You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. Okay. Let's talk to him. The men of the Enlistment Corps never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Are you? Sure. Let's start Let training. Let me be clear from the outset. I'm a harsh master. Whoever the pupil. You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle here. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you might reconsider your party. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them if you care to. The first task is carrying freight. All the lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great for just one person. Many hands lighten any load as this will begin, as your task is to haul all of the freight before my count ends. Get to it. Where's all the freight? And where am I bringing it to? Great. Up there. Up there. Up there. And boom. I think that's the last one. And I got to bring it back there. So directly in front of me. He's obviously going to that one. Okay. So where's the last freight? We must hurry. There's no time. Did nobody go up here? Enough. Well done. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior afore long. Next is combat training. You'll face my scarecrow army here. Destroy them before my count ends. Okay. A large group will be of help again, but you must choose your companions wisely. A company all doing the same thing is less effective than using a varied approach. Choose well. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. You'll set about destroying scarecrows this time. Get them all before my count ends. I've... This scarecrow's weak to blows. I'll fell it with a spell. The deadline draws near. We must hurry. There's no time. Did it. Enough. This dude yells enough for no reason. Like, what are we doing, guys? Stop yelling. Well done. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior afore long. Right then. Finally, you'll be destroying more scarecrows, but don't expect a repeat of the last. There are two sorts of scarecrow, each with its own weakness. One falls only to steel and brute force, the other only to magic. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike fast and strike hard. 
vary your party and your tactics until you find success. Use your head. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. Just give the word. Ready. Well, it's back to the Scarecrows for your last lesson. Destroy them all before my count ends. I feel... Force alone will topple them. I'll fell it with a spell. The deadline draws near, sir. This scarecrow's weak to blows. You must hurry, there's no time. How did I miss that? Did it! Not up there. Enough! Okay, buddy. Enough. Looks like I got a pretty dope team though. Feel pretty good about that. That's the fastest I've ever seen it done. And on a task fit to challenge even a seasoned warrior. Of course it's the fastest you've ever seen it done. I did it. Well done. You've completed your training. See now the difference well-selected partners can make. Yes, no doubt, no doubt. You'll learn the rest from actual combat. If you have trouble, examine your party. I've I've gained quest knowledge. I feel more familiar with this quest now. Word. All right. I want to explore the encampment for a second. See if there's any chests, any valuables or something I can use in here. Okay, I guess that's just a little training area. <gasps> Nothing in there. Let's boogie on out of this part of the encampment. The training grounds well, are used sir. to instruct the men of the core in combat. I feel familiar with this area now. Here's another quest board. Hounded by fate, slay ten wolves. Absolutely. If you find combat a struggle, it will be easier going searching this area. Now. That's the main exit. Born in a drifting world, we come from the rift. There are pawns there among the armaments, should you desire their aid. See if there's any loot, like right there, boom, chairs a chest. Okay, what just happened there? First journal, sure. Looks like part of a journal. Okay. I wonder whose. Really not much to be had in here, huh? All right, thought there'd be some some loot for me to jack Who's picking up a rock you saw that Seems the soldiers make their beds there. What are you doing on a rock guys? What's this? Deliver the flowers look at that they found one of the sun brights in here. It looks like word We're not gonna go to that yet, and I'll tell you why. Let's go to our quest log real quick. We got a lot of quests I would like to knock out. 10 wolves, seven phantasms. We're not gonna be able to get at that. Three cyclopses, we already got one down. Basic training, that's eight spiders, 45 undead. We're not gonna be able to knock that down. Slay two seabirds. The rat catcher, we're gonna slay seven mice, a goblin raid. We've already killed nine out of 10 goblins. Reclaim, reclaim the roads, 10 bandits, flower delivery. So I'm gonna set that as my main quest and think this is an excellent spot to end this episode because we are going to head back 
to Casserdist and finish up some quests there. All right, guys, appreciate y'all joining me. See you on the next episode.